For 34 years, it has served as New Mexico's palace for college basketball. A place where noise is encouraged. University Arena, better known as the Pit, was born out of necessity. Johnson Gym was a good facility, and uh, we had a lot of fans. We had trouble getting some students in uh, because it, uh, while it was a really nice facility, it just wasn't big enough. Before the finished product, there was only a hole in the ground and a pit full of critics. A lot of people did think we were crazy. Uh, it, it was a very unique uh, concept. It had never been done before that, that I know of. And uh, so when people saw the big hole, they had no idea what was going on. Then there was a, uh, an entrepreneur here in town, a guy named Art Brown, that uh, had a party down there one day at noon, had a lunch for businessmen. So they, he brought them down so they could uh, get a, a acquainted with it and, and understand what was going on. And I think that helped. Economics played a part in the design of the pit. He wanted to try to do it for a million dollars or less. And he had the idea that he could uh, uh, save a lot of money by excavating the seating area. He's referring to then University President Thomas Popejoy, who wanted to save the school a few dollars. The total project would cost $1.7 million, still considered an incredible feat. It was one of the least expensive <coughs> arenas that was being built in the country at that time. <coughs> and I'm not sure anybody has ever built another one as cheaply per seat as, as the pit. How did you feel when you guys came down the ramp for the very first time? Well, that was a thrill. And we really, well, you know, we got to where, where we just felt like we owned the ball club owned the place. Five years after its completion in December of 1966, the pit would see expansion, moving from just under 15,000 seats to 18,018. At the same time, the legendary status of the pit would start to grow and take shape. But we'll talk about that next time.